From east to west, this land I ride on carries immense cultural and scientific values. But what truly keeps me intrigued is its biodiversity and one creature to be specific. Nah, not this rooster, but yeah, its ancestors. They call me many names, but I go by the Indian Dino Ranger. To create a thrilling experience for this video, the ranger will be traveling using a gyrosphere which also acts as a time machine. Guide by an AI named Weena. By the way, that's me. Hey Weena, set course to Cretaceous period. Destination, Cretaceous period. Coming to the Cretaceous period, which was the last and the longest period of the Mesozoic era, it lasted for about 80 million years, that's about 145 to 66 million years ago. Now, what's ironic is that, during the Cretaceous period, dinosaurs had reached the peak of their diversity, and it was during the end of the same period that they got eradicated from the face of the earth. The best source of dinosaur fossils from this period were found in the fossil-rich Narmada Valley Basin in Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. In the early 1900s, discoveries and excavations were carried by three paleontologists, Friedrich von Huna and Charles Alfred Matley along with Ragashankar Bhittacharji from the Geological Survey of India. They published their pivotal work on non-late Cretaceous dinosaurs in 1933 after which this period from 1917 to 1933 was known as a golden age of dinosaur research in India. The land of Gujarat was one of the favorite hangout points for dinosaurs. Well, how do we know this? Well, in 1981, during a regular geological survey, two geologists from Geological Survey of India, G. N. Dwivedi and D. M. Mohabe, discovered a dinosaur fossil graveyard, in a village called Raiyoli near Balsanur. Researchers found fossils of Titanosaurid and Ablisaurid. What's fascinating about this site is the dinosaur eggs excavated, about ten thousands of them. Let's look at some interesting excavations from the Raiyoli site. In 1983, a paleontologist Suresh Srivastava and team from Jaipur Geological Survey of India discovered fossilized remains of a 66 million year old fierce carnivore similar to the T. rex dinosaur. It belonged to the genus of carnivorous Sablisaurid theropod. They named it Rajasaurus nermadensis. As its name indicates, the king of lizards. This mighty dinosaur weighed approximately 4000 kgs with an estimated length of 10 meters and height of 2.4 meters. Another large Abelisaurid theropod from the same site is the Raholisaurus gujaratensis, which also existed in India during the late Cretaceous period. This site has been home to over 13 species of dinosaurs during the Cretaceous period. Today, Raiyoli is known to be the third largest fossil site in the world and also the second largest dinosaur hatchery in the world. So many deep the no secrets buried in this land are yet to be unraveled. Hey guys, don't forget to quench your curiosity by visiting India's first dinosaur museum come fossil park at Rayoli. Many fossilized remains including petrified dinosaurs eggs found at the Raiyoli site have been displayed at Indrotha Dinosaur and Fossil Park at Gadhinagar in Gujarat. This park was set with the technical support of Geological Survey of India. Moving south, near Dongargao Hills of Lameta Formation in Maharashtra, during 1984-1986, researchers discovered fossil remains of Titanosaurus sauropod from the late Cretaceous period. They called it Isosaur Kolbati. Next comes that the largest dinosaur remains found in India during the 1980s. 
the Brihitkayasaurus. It was found at the Kulemedu formation in the Tiruchirappalli district of Tamil Nadu. According to the researchers, it was a 34 meter long dinosaur, which means it must have been a titanosaur. If so, then it could have been the biggest dinosaur ever. But the tragedy is that, there is no proper evidence to support this discovery. The researchers involved in its excavation, were unable to transport the fossils to a safe place and left them on the site protruding out of a rock. Apparently, it got lost away in the monsoon floods. Numerous other sauropod and theropod specimens from the late Cretaceous period were also found in and around Jabalpur region in Madhya Pradesh. Kudos to the other researchers and geologists who have played a key role in the discovery and study of Indian dinosaurs. Some of them are Suresh Srivastav, Ashok Sahani, Dhirendra Kishore Chakravarti, Guntupalya Vyar Prasad and D.R. Rudra. There's a lot of scientific debate on what really caused the mass extinction of dinosaurs in the end of the Cretaceous period. Some believed it happened when the Earth was struck by a huge asteroid, which coincided with massive volcanic activities in India's Deccan Traps. Eventually resulting in double catastrophe, it ended with disastrous change in the climate and environment. On the other hand, we have researchers who conclude that the asteroid itself was the main driver of the extinction. The Cretaceous period ended with one of the greatest mass extinctions in the history of Earth. Don't be disappointed that you couldn't witness these mighty dinosaurs. For you can always look up at the birds and feel their presence. You heard it right, birds. It's fascinating to know that birds evolved from a group of small theropod dinosaurs. The oldest bird fossils found date back to the Jurassic period. These ancient birds were small feathered dinosaurs with sharp teeth, and over a period of 66 million years, their features evolved, appearing more cute than fierce. Currently, many species of birds and animals with dinosaur ancestors still exist. However, my quest for dinosaur doesn't end here, because I am the Indian Dino Ranger. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.